This is Jose Heredia with the Crossfader Show here in Triangle Park near the Promenade. Uh, I guess what, what city would you call this? Culver City, I think. Exactly. In the city of LA, I'm right here with one of the OG DJs. Tell me what is your name and uh, what's your DJ name and uh, what are we doing here? What's, what's this event all about? Well, I'm the Egyptian lover from Uncle Jam's Army and today we're at a old school DJ mix-off and barbecue. This is the second annual one, so this is the second year we've been here and we're gonna do it every year and um, it's just a beautiful thing right now all the old school DJs from California get together and we all do this little thing together and it's pretty it's all love you know it's all love so it's it's kind of like a spin-off DJs come in and try out their sets well it's not really a spin-off just everybody just showing their old school skills what we did back in the day to get West Coast on the map right. and you, you, so you're DJ Egyptian lover you mean yeah, Egyptian lover. did you do the the track uh, Egyptian? On, what is the DJ if he can't scratch what is the MC if he can't rap what is the beat without a live clap well I could do it all baby just like that <laughs> excellent and who are the DJs that have already done their, their sets there's many, too many DJs to name Battle Cat DJ Joe Cooley I mean so many DJs up there to name everybody's here DJ Roger from Uncle Jam's Army I mean everybody's here everybody on the west coast who was somebody is here today I know I know there's a lot of people a lot of love here a lot of love here man and so it's also a barbecue people can bring their families and kick it and listen to the tunes well the chef that's doing the barbecue is the one that put the whole thing together so Jerome Benton is his name and he's the man behind the whole scene right here. Right, so what do you recommend on the menu? What should we eat? Oh, you gotta get the ribs, man. The ribs is the best. The tri-tip is like the, the best ever. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So, do you mind if we sh shoot some footage of uh, the mixing? Yeah, go ahead. Help yourself, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, Egyptian Lover. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and check it out. Yeah, baby. All right, party people, this is uh, Jose Heredia. Again, Triangle Park covering this great event, which I only heard about through Facebook. Tell us, uh, Annette, she's uh, the organizer of this event. Tell us, how did it come about and how did it get so big? Well, we started this concept, actually. We're a caterer and we have friends that are DJs and initially last year we thought we'd get together in the park and have our friends that DJ come out and we'd have a barbecue. Well, over dinner we started discussing all the great DJs that we love and who we followed when we were young people when the club scene was so vibrant in the 70s and the 80s and we started naming names and we said, you know what, let's put it together and see if we can get these people to come out. In our first year we had about 350 people. This year the response is overwhelming and the significant thing about this is it was only done on Facebook. Mm. A lot of the DJs missed us the first year and they called us this year. Battle Cat, Kit Kat, Joe Cooley, they called us and asked us if they could come out and we're honored to have them out here. And what it really is, it's not so much for the entertainment of the public, it's a DJ party. If you see what's going on over there, these guys are with their mentors who mentored them when they were in their teens and they were carrying crates. So they get a chance to come out and party with their brotherhood and we get a chance to watch, which is a beautiful thing. I know, it's, it's amazing because a lot of our viewers look up to these DJs and have known known them through their music. They haven't really uh, known them, you know, any other method. But uh, this is great that you can come out and, and mingle with them and, and talk to them. And we really owe a really, really big gratitude to Egyptian Lover. Mm. We found him on Facebook and called him up, and he said, "I'll be there." And he came last year right on time at 12 o'clock. He rocked the show as he did today. And then through our friendship with him, as it began to grow, it spread throughout the DJ community, and they're all here. As you can see. Wow, yeah, I, on Facebook I think I saw like 6,000 invites or 6,000 people right, sent over, out. All total, it was almost 10,000 invites that went out and we were really re happy and gratified by the number of responses. Even the people who said no that they couldn't make it numbered about five or 6,000 that said they couldn't make it. So the combination of those that said they were coming, maybe, what have you, it was really amazing the wildfire that had spread through the community. Well, well thank you very much for allowing us to do an interview with you. I know you're busy and you got to get back. Yeah. Uh, but uh, any final thoughts, uh, any messages that you want to send out there? It's a pleasure to put on an event for what we call the old heads so they can come out and enjoy because we don't club like we used to, so we have to find another way. So we're going to be the king and queen of summer events. So see us again next year for the third annual. <laughs> Uh, we're here 
at the barbecue DJ spinoff in Triangle Park, and I got uh, the originator, the creator of the show, and one of the DJs, right? Excellent. So tell me what's your name, and uh, how did this all come about? Tell them, man. Well, I just wanted to see the DJs come all together, have fun watch each other. More so, it was for the DJs than the crowd because when you watch the DJs DJs with another DJ, yes, they're excited. Sir. They wonder how they came up with the concept of putting some songs to another song and mixing and blending and this is one of the this is one of the greatest. Hey my name is DJ Reg. I've been doing this stuff for over 30 years man and, and I help a lot of these DJs get started and everything else and it's good to see everybody you know no fights no we all together. We just we hey we just communicating and everything is great. This is great. This is this is on. This is, I, I think this is unique. There's no other place where all these DJs can come together, especially in a family setting. Oh absolutely absolutely this is great, man, because, you know, everybody, no fights, no, we all get along. We, hey, this is great, man. Competition, everybody just, this is great. How you doing, Jose? DJ DeVoe, it's all good. Oh, nice, nice. Nice to meet you, DeVoe. It's all good. So, so tell me, what's your thoughts about this event? Uh, what, what brings you over here? Why is this so special? Well, this man right here came up with the brainchild last year. He was like, you know what? I want to get all the old school DJs together in the park, mixing with some barbecue, food, music. Music, a beautiful Cali day doesn't get any better than that. This is awesome. Yes, it is. So and you can bring the kids. You can bring the kids. You can bring the adults. Cross generational. Everybody's having a good time. So it's all good. Second annual DJ Cali mix off, baby. Uh, did you guys ever think it was gonna go so big? Well, I missed the first one. So my boy Jerome hit me up and told me about this one, Egyptian Lover. Best one yet. This is my first one. I consider it's the best one yet. DJ Kit Kat, Uncle Jam's on the oh. Oh, DJ Kicker, we were just talking about you. Okay, that's me. California Cat Crew, Uncle Jam's Army, we're in the house. Any, any messages you got uh, for uh, the new school DJs or anybody that's watching our show right now? Keep practicing. You good, but keep practicing. We've been doing this since the 80s, and we never stop. The so Crossfader okay, Show, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you are uh, the female contingency of the of the, of the DJ crew. I'm Lady DJ Jamar, born on the west side. Been DJing for the past hmm, 17 years. Um, I did the DJ mix-off today on vinyl, so I have to represent for the females. That's what we do. You know? Nice, nice. So did you uh, do your set earlier? today? I did my set earlier today. And rocked it. They squeezed me in. You know, they got the little female in a little bit, but we did the damn thing. Nice. And, and what was your strategy? What, what songs did you play? Well, I took you back and I took you to today. So I did a little cut and a little scratch and a little transforming. Um, some remixes, live remixes. That's what I did on vinyl. Wow. All vinyl. But do you use uh, the computer? I do use Serato for the clubs, but today I just thought it was special that I brought out vinyl. So any messages out there to people who might think about coming next year or uh, any message to DJs in general? Most staff, please support us next year. This is our second annual Cali Cali Dance Mix-Off, DJ Mix-Off. Next year it's going to grow and grow. We're going to have probably more DJs here, more technique, and hopefully we'll have some more ladies here. Nice to meet you. Hopefully uh, we'll get to hear your set next year. I missed it. I got to come early next time. <laughs> Joe Cooley, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, what's your thoughts on this event? Uh, how did you hear about it, and how long have you been involved? Say all that again. You asked about five questions. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, how did you hear of the event? Uh, DJ Kit Kat, you know what I'm saying? I think he put it on Facebook like that. And then, you know, they have, he's like, they have it every year. Egyptian Lover is going to be there and stuff like that. So I had to come out and support all the cat DJs, Egyptian Lover, Battle Cat, all that stuff like that. I was out of town. So me and Rodney just got back today. So we was gone over the weekend. Wow. And this is your first year? Just my first year right here. And what are you? What are your thoughts? Uh, what do you think of the event? Is, is this a positive thing? It's, it, it's very positive. Um, if they can do this again next year, it's even going to be better. I missed it last year, but it's very positive. I ain't seen nobody get socked in the lips. None of that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loves
loving it. I think right now the DJing is getting real big and popular from back in the days of the 80s and the 90s. Now DJing is like the most influential thing on the planet right now. Everybody want to be a DJ. It's even a video game. Yep, better than that too. <laughs> Do you have any messages for their viewers at home? Uh, what they can uh, learn from this experience? Uh, you know what? To learn from this, it's a lot of old school people here. You know what I'm saying? So. For the new generation and all that, I think that they can learn a lot from us, you know? We're learning a lot from them now, so they need to learn some of our shit too, because I see a lot of new scratch shit, but they don't know how to do the old school scratches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Joe Cooley. Yes, sir. Relax, have a great time, and uh, hopefully you can see us on the Crossfader show. All right, man, and hit me up on Facebook. All right, party people, so we're trying to fit in one more interview before our battery goes kaput. We have here uh, one of the MCs. Uh, introduce yourself to our Crossfader show people. DJ T, one of LA's number one DJ. I'm still doing it five nights a week. LA Key Club on Wednesdays. We at my house on Thursdays. We at um, Wonderland Saturdays. We do. Uh, um, God damn, I can't even remember. Uh, uh, um, over there on, on, on Kawanga, we kill that over there. We do back house on Tuesdays. I still do this every day. It don't stop. LA, we we started with K Day and we end with this. Nice, you know I mean? nice. Thank you very much. How was it today? Was it a good show? Oh, today was crazy, man. I was here year one. I'm here year two. I definitely be here year three. Shout out to my man Jerome. Keep doing what you're doing, man. <laughs> DJ T, love you, man. It's all good. West Coast. Let's get it. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, that's it for us. Crossfader show. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.